Laura here. I'm here today to do one of my final days in Bookmas. Yes, Bookmas is still going on, but this video is going to focus on what I loved and what I watched in December, um, the tail end of November and all of December. Um, but yeah, sorry I don't have my hat. I don't know what happened to it because I threw away all my Christmas decorations. But yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to go movies, TV shows, Xmas movies, um... I think that that's it. I actually watched a lot of movies in, um, a lot of movies in, um, November and December. And that normally doesn't happen. I'm normally much more of a TV show girl. Um, but I just found a lot of movies that I wanted to watch. So let's get into it. Um, the first movie I watched was at the tail end of November and that is Super Intelligence with Melissa McCartney and James Corden. And it was so much fun. I think it was the movie we all needed it was just such like a warm-hearted movie, but it basically follows this girl named Melissa McCartney, who I've adored. I've loved her in all the movies she's been in um, way back since Gilmore Girls. I've really loved all her projects she's been in. Um, and this AI, who's voiced by James Corden, decides she is the person that's going to decide if the world is going to be saved or ended. And I just thought it was a really, really sweet movie. I really, really liked it. Speaking of James Corden... Um, I also wound up watching The Prom, which has James Corden, um, Meryl Streep, Keegan-Michael Keyes, um, Andrew Rannells, a bunch of different people, um, Nicole Kidman, and I actually saw this on Broadway with my friends a couple of years ago, so it's inspired by that musical, but it basically is set place in Indiana, and this girl wants to take her girlfriend to prom, and hilarity drama ensues. It was very, very sweet, again, a very, very lighthearted movie that I really wound up liking, um, and then I just went down like a deep, um, a deep, um, like, com like, um, romantic comedy binge. So I watched The Breakdown, which stars Sabrina Carpenter, which is all about dancing. Um, I watched The Perfect Date, which stars Noah Centineo, which I really, and Laura and, Ma and Lauren Marano. I finally watched To All the Boys I Love Before too. I really like that one as well. Um, I also watched Find the Beat, which was with Sophia Carson. Um, oh, and then I also watched Spider-Man Far From Home, which I have seen before, but I never owned a copy of that one. Um, and I also watched The Impossible, and both those movies star Tom Holland. The Impossible is the movie he was in his first ever movie with um, Naomi Watts when, like, the, um, the, with the tsunami. I really like that one. That one's also very, very well done. Um, and then I just went back and watched a couple of backlist Tom Holland movies. I watched Spies in Disguised, um, which is his animated movie that he did with Will Smith. I watched Dr. Doolittle, which is a movie that he voices one of the characters. I really like that movie, by the way. Um, and then also on New Year's Eve, I watched Soul, which is the new Pixar movie, which I loved. Definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies, with definitely like a more intense story plot. But again, super enjoyable. Really liked it. Would highly recommend. And the last movie I watched is We Are Heroes, which is on, or I think it's We Could Be Heroes. I think it's on Netflix. Um, and it's kind of follows the kids of Shock Boy and Lava Girl. And it starts, it says Paulo, the guy that's in The Mandalorian. Um, but I really like that movie again. It kind of reminded me of watching like um, Shock Boy and Lava Girl or Spy Kids when I was younger. And I really wound up liking that. Um, but yeah, those were all kind of like the not. Um, like the not Christmassy movies that I watched, but I really am enjoying them, and I'm happy I watched like so many movies. Um, and then TV shows, I definitely watched less, but I did catch up on um, Star Girl, which I actually am really happy I caught up on because it's coming back soon. Really like that. Happy that I wound up catching up on that one. I also started Flight Attendant with um, Kaylee Cuoco. I still have to finish it. I watched like one or two episodes and I just got distracted. Again, December was not my, t my TV watching month. I was trying to catch up on some movies. Um, and I did finish watching The Mandalorian. I don't remember if that was in January or in um, December, but I'm just going to talk about it here. I really like season two. I'm really excited for season three and I'm also really excited for the spinoff shows. I think the tech effects in The Mandalorian are 
spectacular. And again, super enjoyable. I also did start watching or like make some more progress on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm, I'm, I think I'm on episode, season six. So I still have to watch a couple more seasons of that. But I'm steadily making my way through. That's going to be an early 2021 goal to finish that show. But yeah, those are all the those are all the TV shows that I finished and watched. Um, but now let's get into the holiday themed ones, which I'm really excited to chat for. I like do the holidays. I still am playing Animal Crossing, definitely a little bit less, but I am still playing it. I actually have to play it today because I keep getting distracted. Um, I'm also still doing my Skillshare classes. I am really liking that. Um, and I have been working out. I've been going to my studio, which I have been really enjoying. I have been using Daily Burn, which has been my workout situation um and also mad fit has been how i've been working out because gyms are still well not they're not closed but i don't feel comfortable going to them quite yet but yeah those are more like the entertainment stuff i've been doing um but christmas movies i watched christmas chronicles 2 which i really really liked i thought that was really really cute i finally watched noel with anda kendrick which i love that movie definitely a new favorite um i also watched klaus which is a animated movie on netflix which is about this young postman and Santa who team up to kind of save a small town. I also watched Chris, the Chris, it's gonna, it's gonna sound weird. I watched the Christmas decorating show on Disney Plus, which is how they decorate the parks for the holidays. Again, I really like that one. I thought it was fun. It was like nice background noise to watch. Um, and I also watched Godmothered, which was the new Disney like holiday movie. And I really like that one as well. I thought it was really, really fun and just super cute. It just put like a big smile on my face. And it was one that I just really, really liked. So that's on Disney Plus. Definitely you should check that one out. And then the two like major um, TV shows I watched was I watched Holiday Nailed It, um, which was, um, you know, that it's like, you know, people try to make these amazing creations for baking and they're really really not that good bakers and I watched the holiday edition which again was just a laugh I really love Nicole Byers and Jack Torres they're just super fun and all their special guests are really really nice um and it was just a fun show it was put on background noise I watched it when I, when I went to bed um and I also watched to see Dash and Lily which is the 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 um, adaptation inspired by the David Cohn and Rachel Lovett them books they got book one done, and I really liked it. Again, I thought it was a super fun adaptation. I really liked it. I actually was I was actually reading Mind the Gap at some point this like month, and I thought the I really liked the TV show. I thought the I thought the third book was okay, but if you want more information on that, go check out my reading up for December because I do talk about it in there. But yeah, those are all like the major things that I did. I also did like other things. I did is I did a little bit of Christmas crafting. Um, which was really exciting. Um, you know, I you know, sent out gifts to friends. We didn't really do anything for the holidays just because we're kind of living in our own little bubble and we just want to kind of keep everyone safe. But yeah, so I will see you guys probably at the end of February for another wrap check-in about my entertainment habits and what I've been liking and what I've been enjoying. TV shows are coming back. I need to do like a big catch-up week on all the TV shows I have been missing. I hope you guys are staying safe and doing well and I'll talk to you guys soon.